Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to do an update on the whole McDonald's bra that went down, went down in Flatbush, Brooklyn. This whole situation has been a mess. It's been a series of just twisting damn turns. Every other day there's a new report on my fan page. We've been having discussions. So I wanted to kind of make a video out of everything that's going down. So if you guys all remember this past Tuesday, a video surfaced online of 15-year-old Ariana Taylor getting beat up. She was getting jumped by six girls, but Ariana was holding her own. She was beating up the ringleader. It's since come out, her name is Anaya Ferguson. So Ariana Taylor was beating her up, and then all the other girls jumped on Ariana, and we saw them, you know, beating her. I mean, she almost looked lifeless at one point in time. Then Anaya came back and started kicking her in the head. This whole situation was a mess. So after the video went viral, a lot of us felt really, really bad for Ariana. We thought she was this little innocent, little 15-year-old girl. And then people started sending messages like, T, you need to go look at this little girl's Facebook page. She's kind of off the chain. So I went, you know, to be nosy like everybody else. Now, when I went to her Facebook page, now this was like Thursday when I went on there. And at that point in time, she only had a few hundred friends. I went on there last night. She was at 19,000 friends. Now, the thing that I find funny is the day before, if you look at all her messages from the day before, the fight took place she would post stuff up she might get one or two likes the day after the fight took place she can post anything she'd get you know four or five hundred likes you know shows you what kind of sick world that we live in when this young girl now thinks she's e-famous and the new york daily news was also on her facebook page and this is the caption and this is a news article that they came out with basically showing this girl bragging about being famous the whole situation is sad even Lil Durk as we all know Lil Durk is from Chirac he's one of you well he was one of Chief Keef's homeboys I don't know if they're beefing this week or not but we all know Lil Durk, Lil Reese they all came from Chirac they're the big Chirac rappers and Lil Durk shouted her out you know what I'm saying and so when Lil Durk shouted her out Everybody came out and was like, Lil Dirk shouted you out. Lil Dirk shouted you out. So this girl truly thinks she's famous. Um, you know, but I look at her like she's 15. She's a year older than my son. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful little girl. And she's involved in so much nonsense. For what I'm hearing, a lot of this shit stem behind gang stuff. Um, people are saying that she, you know, I don't want to really say what people are saying on her Facebook page. You guys can go look. I'm not really trying to push shit out there because it could be rumors, but... I don't know. A lot of it seems to be true. But they're saying that there was definitely a reason why she got jumped the way she did. She's not as innocent. You know, she wasn't just some innocent girl who just happened to get jumped. And another thing that really bothers me that I want Ariana Taylor to realize is, now that day, okay, you went into this McDonald's. You were prepared to fight Anaya. You didn't realize you were going to get jumped, okay? So damn near your whole student body was there, including your homegirl, Abria, whatever her name is. Everybody keeps going in on Abria for standing there. They even have Abria's face circled watching you get jumped so my thing is where was all this popularity the day of your fight why didn't nobody from your school have enough love and respect for you to jump in and try and pull you out the fight even when you was on the ground anybody could have grabbed Anaya somebody could have grabbed you you know slid you out the way your own homegirl sat there and watched you get jumped by six people so you need to realize all this instant fame that you got off of social media. These folks are not your real friends. This should be an eye opener to let you know who's really down for you. When the shit gets hard, who's going to have your back? Because from what I saw in that video, you don't have a lot of real friends at your school. If your own best friend can stand there and watch you get jumped by six people and not jump in, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. That's between y'all. But if you're getting jumped, you're supposed to jump in and help your friend. You know, sometimes you got to take an ass whooping for your friend if that's really your friend. You know, I just found the whole situation disturbing that now she thinks she's famous all these folks from her school on there you know giving her props you know trying to check on her but y'all saying people were there at the fight and none of y'all broke it up none of y'all try to help her you know the, the, it's just really disturbing this generation and i'm not trying to put this whole generation in one bucket because my child is too a part of this generation but even when i talk to my son i'm like what the hell's wrong with y'all kids you know what i'm saying i know our generation was kind of off the hook but y'all's generation is totally off the hook it's almost like y'all just don't care and y'all just want to be famous for just the most, for the silliest things. Being jumped at McDonald's and having a viral video is not fame. That's infamy. And a lot of y'all don't know the difference between that. You know, when I sat and I watched you, you know, get kicked and get beat like that, like that brought tears to my eyes because I'm like, they don't realize that next kick could kill this girl. 
You know, you need to be thanking God that you woke up the next day and you need to be thanking God that you don't really have no bruises, that you don't have black eyes and things like that. Because I know if I was eating like that, I'd have been swollen, black and blue. I'd have had all types of bruises on my face. So for you to not have a lot of scratches and, you know, nothing bad really happened to you, God was really on your side. You've had people who've been jumped by less people, who's been hit with less force, and they walked away looking horrible. So you need to count your blessings. Whatever negativity you're involved in, whatever you are on these streets doing at the age of 15, you need to slow down and really reevaluate your life because these girls are not coming after you for no reason. And it just makes me sad to just see a bunch of young girls. And most of these chicks are mothers. That's the part that just got me like, damn, man, like this shit is crazy. Even from somebody who was a young mom, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the next generation of young moms. It's like when you have a baby at 16, 17, 18, it's supposed to stop you your tracks it's supposed to calm you down you're supposed to want to do better for your child you know what i'm saying when i saw anaya beating her like that i'm and then to hear that she has a one-year-old child it's like how can you be a mother of a one-year-old and you beating somebody else's child once you become a parent you're supposed to be empathetic towards other children no matter the age you are when you have your child like what the fuck that's somebody else's baby how would you like somebody beating your daughter like that in 10 years you know, the whole situation is just disgusting to me, man. Anyways, go ahead and check out these news clips I put together, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Four of six suspects in the brutal beating at a Brooklyn McDonald's are now in police custody. Police arrested three more teens in connection with this vicious attack caught on video, including one of them who was about to leave the country. CBS 2's Alana Gold joins us live from downtown Brooklyn with an update on the story. Alana? Andrea, two of those teens are expected to face a judge here at criminal court in the next few hours. One of them will be charged as an adult, and we just checked in with the clerk's office. They say that teen has a warrant out for her arrest on a different case, but wouldn't specify. First, a cell phone captured this group of girls attacking a 15-year-old in McDonald's in the Flatbush section of Brooklyn on Monday. Now, a total of four suspects are behind bars in connection with the beatdown. Yesterday, a 15-year-old surrendered to police. So did 17-year-old Talani Marshall, both now charged with gang assault and robbery. We went to Marshall's apartment, the address provided by the NYPD, but no one answered the door for a comment. Investigators had a tough time tracking down their alleged accomplice. Sources say the 15-year-old was beach-bound and arrested in Atlanta, Georgia. Detectives there used an NYPD warrant and pulled her off a plane heading to Jamaica. She could be back in New York sometime today. Anaya, why'd you do it? The alleged ringleader, 16-year-old Anaya Ferguson, now behind bars on a $500,000 bond. She faces judge Friday and police say she's a gang member with a violent past. Sources tell us she's been arrested six times since September and pleaded guilty to stabbing her brother with a knife. She's also accused of threatening her grandmother. Prosecutors say Ferguson admitted to her role in the fight and stealing the 15-year-old victim's belongings and throwing them in the trash. The teen claims the victim wronged one of her friends in January and this was retaliation. Parents in the area have seen this video and they're worried for their children. You have to worry about them because you can't take them to school every day. They gotta be on their own. Extra security now guarding the McDonald's, trying to calm fears and keep kids from loitering after school. That's her. Watching this video for the first time, Marie Joseph immediately recognized Anaya Ferguson. Marie hasn't been able to forget her face since a chance meeting five months ago. This girl assumed that I was staring at her and I wasn't even paying her no attention. I was waiting for my name to be called. One month pregnant and and having problems, Marie rushed to SUNY Downstate Hospital while in the ER waiting room. She was like, what the hell, you, what the F you looking at? I'm like, I'm not looking at you. Like, you're nobody to me. You're not important. I don't know you. Then her friends wanted to fight me. Marie says Anaya Ferguson was cursing, picking a fight with others, then zeroed in on her. She said she don't care. My face not pregnant. My stomach is not my face. She's going to hit me. That's what she said. Then this mom-to-be says Ferguson punched her on the back of the head. Like right here. Like this. Ferguson was arrested for assaulting Marie in September. Six days later, arrested for stealing watches. The next month, arrested for attacking her grandmother. Eight days later, arrested again for violating a protection order and resisting arrest. Just last month, police arrested Ferguson for stabbing her brother. Then, this brawl at McDonald's. Marie, now seven months pregnant, says she still suffers physically and emotionally 
from the encounter with Ferguson. She needs to put, to be put somewhere and never let her out because this girl is very violent. Seven arrests in five months. We're also told that Ferguson had been attending counseling. There were four warrants out for her arrest, and today a judge set her bail at $500,000. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. So not only was one girl trying to sneak her ass back to Jamaica, she got caught in the ATL, thank God. If you was bold enough to jump that girl and kick her and everything else, then you need to be grown enough to take your consequences. But this Anaya Ferguson chick, you know, a lot of folks are going in on her. A lot of folks, you know, are saying she's the devil, she's evil. But I'm really sad for this chick. I want to know what happened in her life at the age of 16. She's a teen mom. I want to know what caused her to get to the point where you have been arrested seven times in less than six months. I mean, the whole situation is sad. The most I ever got in trouble for when I was your age was curfew. You know what I'm saying? I had a curfew violation at the age of 16, and I got took down to JDC, and my and I got my ass whooped when I got home, and I was grounded for the next week, and that was enough to straighten my ass up. I don't understand how at 16 you out here stabbing your brother, beating up your grandmother, fighting with random people, and the whole time you got a baby at home. It's like, I want to know what's going on in this girl's life. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy to demonize her and say that this bitch ain't shit and everything else. But I want to know what the hell got this girl out here wilding out like this at 16 years old. You've been arrested more times in six months than most adults have ever been arrested in their life. I'm a grown adult now and I've never been arrested. I couldn't imagine being arrested that many times in six months. Her ass should have been in jail. Her ass should not have been out on the streets to be out here to fight Ariana Taylor. You know, this is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? She already stabbed somebody. She's proven herself to be a very violent person. She needs to be behind bars. At the age of 16, this girl's in a gang. She got a baby. She's out here wilding. Now she's doing a bunch of dumb shit. Now they got her bail set at half a million dollars. I mean, this whole situation is insane. And I honestly believe that if this story wouldn't have went viral, she'd probably be right back out on the streets. Nobody would have said nothing because we all know Ariana Taylor and her crew, they're not snitching. They're not saying nothing. They're not calling the police. So this girl would still be on the streets terrorizing other people. You know, you got to be very, very careful about the energy that you put out there, about the things that you do to people. Because sometimes karma doesn't necessarily bite you in the ass. Sometimes it can come for your children. You know, this whole situation is just sad to see these young girls, you know what I'm saying? These girls, to me, they're babies. Because like I said, I have a baby. I have a child who's 14. So to me, I see these girls and I look at them like, you know, these girls could be my daughters. You know what I'm saying? These are young girls. These are not girls in their 20s and 30s. You know, you guys are babies. You guys have your whole life ahead of you. Stop trying to grow up so damn fast. You know, even looking at Ariana's Facebook page, I'm like, damn, she looks grown as hell. So much older than 15. Enjoy being 15. You're only 15 once. You will never get that time back. You know what I'm saying? Folks are so in a rush to grow up. And then eventually you grow up and you look back, you know, 10 years later. And it's like, damn, I miss my childhood. I miss high school. I miss, you know, all that fun stuff. Because you were so busy trying to grow up and be grown. You know, enjoy the time while you have it. Because your childhood just flies like this. And it's sad to see young girls out here fighting each other and carrying on like grown ass men you know just on some vicious shit i remember friends who got jumped when i was going to high school they were embarrassed you know what I'm saying? Even if they got jumped outside of school, a lot of times they didn't come to school for three, four days because they were healing up bruises and everything else. But when you got chicks nowadays, there's not even any shame. When you can pop up on social media the same day you got jumped, like I got jumped, y'all. My video's about to be viral. Check it out. You know, it's just, it's just really, really sad. You know, my whole thing is, where are the parents? Why are the parents not controlling what she's posting on Facebook? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sorry if my daughter got beat that manner, she would not be on Facebook bragging. She would, not be, she would not be on Facebook bragging. She would not be on Facebook talking. You know what I mean? We'd be having a serious one-on-one -on -one and trying to get to the bottom of everything. You know, so it's really, really sad. It just shows the type of household that these kids are coming from. Anyways, I'm done with my rant. I don't want this to be too long. I'm like, like, this video really hurts me. You know, to find out that Anaya is involved in so much fuckery. And then to find out that Ariana thinks she's famous. And to find out that both these girls are in gangs. And, you know, the whole situation is just sad to me. And I just, you know, I'm going to just keep all these kids in prayer. And just hope that things get better for them. And just hope that they realize that... You know what I'm saying? No matter what you're going through right now, it does get better. And you guys need to cherish your childhood because once it's gone, it's a wrap. 
And especially when you're a mother, you know what I'm saying? You have to start being a role model for your child. You don't want your child out here game banging. You don't want your child out here getting beat up and getting jumped in the future. So Anaya needs to take this time out, sit her ass in jail, reevaluate her life. And hopefully when she comes out of jail or prison, whatever's going to happen to her, hopefully she can come out and be a better person, a better human being, and a better mother. So anyways, like I said, I'm done with my rants. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Son of both of these girls in this McDonald's beatdown. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.